welcome. Today's Wednesday, and it is the seventh week in which we are celebrating the wonderful gift of Easter, um, and of which also um, we are kind of in between, in that we can also say it's the seventh week in ordinary time. So we are moving uh, between um, the wonderful Sunday of the Ascension and also we're leading up to the Sunday of Pentecost. And today is the feast day of St. John the First. He was elected when he was already advanced in age to succeed St. Hormisidas and, um, as uh, a pope and at the See of Peter. John the First suffered in his own body for the sake of the peace of between the East and also the West, and at the request of the Astrogoth king Theodorus the Great, then uh, ruler of Rome, John went to Constantinople to end the brutal persecution of Arians by the Byzantine emperor Justin I. So John secured charity towards the Arians, but upon his return to Italy um, was imprisoned by the order of Theodorus. And so um, John died on May the 18th and 526 of starvation and exhaustion. He was buried in Rome as a victim for Christ. And so we remember um, Pope John the first today as we pray in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, who reward faithful souls and who have consecrated this day by the martyrdom of Pope St. John the First, graciously hear the prayers of your people and grant that we who venerate his merits may imitate his constancy in the faith. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And so today we're looking at a short gospel of Mark. It's chapter 9, verses 38 to 40. John said to Jesus, Teacher, we saw someone driving out demons in your name, and we tried to prevent him because he does not follow us. Jesus replied, Do not prevent him. There is no one who performs a mighty deed in my name who can at the same time speak ill of me. For whoever is not against us is for us. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to, to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. You know, against us and for us, um, it's so important for us to realize that sins are not just what we commit, but they also are what we omit. Mm -hmm. And uh, we will be judged not only for what we say, but also for what we do. And um, in today's gospel, um, we have to realize um, that um, Jesus, re um, do not prevent him. Uh, so Jesus is saying, let the person speak. There is um, no one who performs a mighty deed in the Lord's name who will not be recognized by the Lord. And could he even perform the mighty deed if he wasn't somehow connected to Christ Jesus in some way? Prayer, baptism. Um, and I think that when we look at um, Pope Francis, uh, we see an individual who um, understands this idea, who is saying to all of us, set your charity first, set your love for one another first, um, and um, allow the love to be brought into the world um, to face um, all peoples of faith, so that love may be that by which life begins to change and see the deeper truth. Um, scolding oftentimes doesn't get us anywhere. Um, sometimes shaking our finger at someone doesn't get us anywhere. Um, but really being open to the presence, to the love, and to the mercy of God um, for all peoples is so, so important. Um, and it's in this love and in this mercy then um, that we begin to see um, that um, the person really is not against God at all, 
but the person in their own action, as best they know, mm -hmm. they are giving glory to God. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's that we have to take an opportunity to um, show them more um, into, uh, or actually invite them more and more into the truth. Once is the deeper truth of what we believe in and what we talk about. Um, and so some people are at this level and hopefully we are at this level, a deeper level. And it is that deeper level that sustains faith. It's that deeper level that continues to um, allow faith to be heard and experienced in the lives of all people. So um, we, all of us have to care for each other and give good witness so that the witness that we give begins to change lives. And changing lives and bringing them deeper into the love of Christ Jesus sometimes can be quite surprising mm -hmm. um, when we look at um, what Jesus himself is trying to do, not what I'm trying to do. Mm -hmm. This one commentary talks about this particular gospel brings up those two particular sins called greed and envy and, and how that we look at somebody else that is doing something even though it is good, as you mentioned, they're doing a good thing, that others notice it and take fault with it. And so I don't know if you've ever known anybody, but I've, I remember telling somebody um, how, how good their spaghetti sauce was, you know. And a family member later on told me, well, what's wrong with my spaghetti sauce? And I said, well, nothing. Your spaghetti sauce is great too, but I really like that sauce and I just wanted to make sure that person knew how much I enjoyed that. Um, but how they took that information is that I was really not, that I was complimenting somebody else, but in my, in giving them a compliment, I was saying something negative about them. And I oh. really wasn't. So they were taking it personally. They were taking it personally. Somehow I wasn't saying anything about them. So, and this is what's what we see here. This one commentary is talking about. We see a little bit of envy and a little bit of greed. Well, look what they're doing, and you know, and how it makes us look at ourselves. But that is where the the Holy Spirit can really overcome that e envy and greed by coming into our own hearts, because we really are about finding the good in others, and and not about trying to find fault with them. And also we are really trying hard to give the glory to God. So mm -hmm. um, if there's any glory in what you had to say, yes. um, it is um, that God has created them in mm -hmm. His image and in likeness, mm -hmm. and God has given them many gifts Absolutely. to share with others. Absolutely. So it's a wonderful positive moment mm -hmm. in which an individual begins to realize that um, God's love mm -hmm. is for every single person. Absolutely. And so he might um, give um, wonderful, excellent talents mm -hmm. to these, and then to others, he might give other excellent mm -hmm. talents. But it doesn't mean that no talent is not good. Absolutely. And that no talent is not given to anyone. Everybody right. is given gifts from God. That's right. Right, exactly. So um, even though it's a short verse, short gospel for us today, I think it's all about giving God glory in I think the end. So. Yeah. And as it does that, it's turning to us and helping us to realize the importance of um, doing for God, not doing for ourselves. Mm -hmm. It's uh, like a couple of weeks ago, I mentioned to the community at Mass that um, we, we have to become really aware mm -hmm. um, that um, God loves us not for himself, right. but he loves us for the fact that he has created us and made us the people that we are. Mm -hmm. And so we should never ever think that we are not loved by God, but to realize that he loves us beyond belief. Yes. Goodbye. Bye.